Yo, what is up guys? I'm Relic, welcome to Wave Ninja. First off, I wanna say thanks for watching the past couple of videos because they've been kinda ass because I've been trying to use this little tripod handy thing uh, that has like a little swivel mount so I can use it for vlogs and stuff like that, but I don't have a wide enough lens yet. So today I'm just gonna be sticking to this one until I get a wider lens eventually. So yeah, sorry about the inconvenience. But yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an instrument out of any sample or any sound. Obviously the results are gonna vary depending on the sample that you use and uh, yeah, a whole bunch of things. Of course I can make an instrument out of anything, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna sound good. Like I could rip ass into a microphone and I could turn it into an instrument, but it's still probably gonna sound like ass. <laughs> For this example, I'm gonna be using a piece of paper and I'm gonna be taking a whole bunch of samples of it and then I'll be chopping it up and then we'll turn it into a whole bunch of instruments for a beat. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, just make sure to hit like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so now that I imported the sample, I'm just gonna be going through and I'm gonna be chopping it up and making a little sample pack out of it and then we'll choose um, what sounds I wanna use uh, to make instruments out of. So now that I have everything chopped up and I have a sample pack of a bunch of paper sounds, I'm just gonna pick like one of them and I'm gonna use a resonator on it to give it like tonal qualities. And if you don't know what a resonator is, basically when, when you look at an instrument, like for a piano example, and uh, you could open up an EQ, you can see whatever frequency it is uh, peaking at is basically the note that it's resonating the highest at and that's what creates notes and tonality. So usually what an, a resonator is doing is it's doing exactly what this EQ is doing and it's creating these really large notches to basically bring out the tonal characteristics of whatever sound you have, even if it doesn't have any tonality to it. So I'm just gonna pick a sound real quick. So I'm gonna use this ripping sound and I'm gonna use a resonator. So there's a default resonator in Ableton uh, and there's also one called Kilo Hearts, and it, I think it's like $19 or something like that. Um, Graves used it in a video called The Crates, or The Crate, where he basically makes beats out of certain items that he recorded from a crate that was given to him of like random objects, and he makes a beat out of it. So I'm going to use the Kilo Hearts one because personally that's my favorite, and uh, I do think it is worth the money. And as you can see, there's the note, the decay, the intensity, and the mix. And basically what you can do is you can, I'm gonna solo this, turn it down a little bit. You can hear that it's already giving it tonal characteristics. So maybe I won't use this ripping one. Maybe I will use a different one. Maybe I'll use this one. And then what I can do is I can make it sharp. And then maybe I'll add more decay to it. And as you can hear, it's already bringing out um, certain frequencies of it. And I can change this and it'll change the note. So maybe I'll have it as C and I'll throw an EQ on it. And I'm going to freeze this and turn it into an instrument. So I'm gonna freeze this, flatten it. And then I'm gonna just use a mini track and I'm just gonna drag it in. And then since it's already in C, it's in key. And as you can see, when the note plays, it is in C. And this is where you can get creative. You can add like reverbs. You can, you know, add just any effect you want and uh, process it as you normally would. And uh, get some interesting results. Like I've actually gotten some really cool sounds out of it. And then maybe you can, uh, you know, change it. Maybe mess with the attack. Add some reverb on it.
So there we go, we have one instrument made out of paper and you know, you can add stuff from here. Then I'm just gonna add a clap. I'm gonna add some hi-hats. I'm gonna add a couple more elements real quick and then I'll be finished. All right, so I ended up using uh, Electra X and Omnisphere to layer over the paper melody. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I finished all the drums and stuff like that. I'm not gonna arrange this right now just because I wanted to show you that you can just make an instrument out of literally anything and I just made this fire ass beat out of it. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the end result, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, please.